The U.S. Census matters as much now as it did in 1790, when President Jefferson first said, we want to count the population. They were trying to figure out who was here and where they were. And that, has, that need hasn't changed. The census is a record not only of where we're headed, but who we are and where we've been. It's like a snapshot in time, if you think about it, of where the people and Licking County are at this moment in the year 2020. We live in a great community, but we have a lot of challenges, uh, things that our community is facing, like most communities. The Licking County Health Department can use that data to identify areas of our county and people in our communities who face unique health challenges. If we're trying to assist a family off the streets and into good quality housing, not only do I need to know how many of those families or single adults are living in shelters or on the street, but we also need good quality housing at a price point they can afford going forward. All of these kinds of questions that are important on the census help us to better plan for the future and attract uh, businesses and hopefully some housing development. Licking County has a large number of veterans. Um, without a proper accountability with the census, veterans could go without health care that they deserve. The U.S. Census benefits Licking County by providing programming to support housing rehabilitation projects, water and sewer upgrades, as well as community facilities and sidewalks. The Census Bureau Federal Highway ODOT wants input from the locals and they use us as that input. And so honesty in census information means people like us, people like you, have a more say in your local matters. We need to make sure that people realize that this is a vital and a growing area. Um, I mean, that's important with education, it's important with attracting businesses, that there's a labor market. All of this bleeds together, and the census is really the linchpin that all of this hangs on. So the biggest way that we're going to tie the census data to agriculture um, is just the simple basis that we're trying to feed the world. And we need to know how many people that encompasses and where the gaps are in things like farmers markets and, and those areas where we can do better to serve our communities. The census is important to Central Ohio Technical College. Whether our students uh, reside on campus or off campus, uh, they do utilize many of these organizations within our community and I think it's really important that each of these students be counted. The hard to count population is just as important if not more important than the, the total population because sometimes they live in the shadows of our community and sometimes the need to serve them and to help them to grow in the community is just as great if not greater. Children ages 1 to 5 are the hardest demographic to count. Um, and this is, means something personal to me because I just recently found out that our family's going to have another baby in August. So um, I'm thinking about my grandchild and uh, planning for the future. We're not going to make decisions about people without them. And we want them to be included in helping to make decisions that's going to benefit not only them, but future generations. You know, a lot of people really don't have a permanent address. They're kind of floating in the community. Maybe their circumstances are difficult now. And you know, you can ask yourself, well, what is the incentive for them to want to be counted? Well, you're part of a, something bigger. You're part of a population, part of a community. And do it for yourself or do it for others. In other words, uh, you know, if, you, if, 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 if you've been in an addiction problem, or if you've been in an abuse problem, if you've been incarcerated, um, if you feel like the, where, where you're at in life is just that you live in the shadows and you don't matter, you do matter. Sometimes people might be hesitant to fill out the forms because there is personal information requested. But it's good to understand that census is not something that's designed to be used against us. The personal information is separated from the statistical data by law. The projections from the 2010 census last all the way to 2020. The 2020 census projections will last for us all the way to 2030. It benefits us because our congressional representation is, is solely based on the results of the census and that's important. From our perspective, if we are going to improve the entire community, whether it's Licking County or the United States, then we need to take a closer look at who are the residents of those communities. And for us, uh, we believe that Living United means to live out the reality that what affects one person affects us all. If no one has ever asked you before, I'm asking you to participate in the census this year, to put your hand up and say, I want to be counted. Every Licking Countyan counts, 
and counting every Licking County in completely will pay dividends for our whole community going forward.